Hello, hello, it's Ruby Burrito and welcome. We are finally a couple days into August. We are just over two weeks away from Janthier Wilds. Now this means that we're gonna be getting a reset in the Wizard's Vault and that's what I wanted to take a look at today. We don't have any information from Arena as to what is going to be in. We can kind of take a guess as to what we might see and speculate on things that they might change, potentially. So first, let's take a look at things that we've seen. You have the legacy rewards here, if you haven't seen them previously. The Secrets of the Obscure season through the Veil season and Realm of Dreams seasons have already happened. Secrets of the Obscure is when the first when this expansion actually released. Through the Veil was the first content drop. Realm of Dreams was the second. And we are currently in the Midnight King, which is the third content drop. So, as you can see, I have already obtained all of the unique skins up here. Once this season ends and we get Janthier Wilds, these will go into the Legacy Rewards section. We have the Enchanted Skimmer skin, Sky Sage's Cape, Coat, Shoulders, and Leggings skin, and then the Lunar Astrolab weapon set. That is mirrored in the Realm of Dreams. If we go to the end here, you can see the Sky Sage's Helm, Boots, and Gloves skin. And we have the Solar Astrolab Selection Box, Leaf Glider, and Cat Tree Chair. The season before, Through the Veil had the Sanctified weapon, or Skin Set, sorry, Cape, Leggings, Helm, and Coat, whereas Secrets of the Obscure had Shoulders, Boots, and Gloves. The Secrets of the Obscure had the Sanctified Weapon Selection Box, and the Through the Veil Season had the Dark Sanctified Weapon Selection Box. Through the Veil had the Arcane Flow Infusion. Secrets of the Obscure Season had a Bless Emote Tome and an Enchanted Owl Griffin Skin. So, a couple things to note here. The first release had two unique items, a weapon set, and three armor skins. The following had one unique, a matching or I guess similar weapon set and the rest of the armor set. So there's the same number of items each time. It's just because there are seven with the cape skin instead of just six for armor skins, one of them ends up having an extra unique. So it starts with an extra. You can see the Realm of Dreams has two, then the weapon skins and then the Sky Sages. And then here, we only have the Enchanted Skimmer skin. So one thing we can say, we are most likely going to get two unique things. A weapon set. We don't know what it's going to be quite yet. It'll probably be something to do with the Coden, I'm hoping, which I'm very excited to see. And then the armor set, of course, will also be tied into the expansion. You have the Sky Sages and the Sanctified. I don't know that this, how the Sanctified is super tied in, but I do think that this was a cool set to add. Now... The more interesting to some people, I would say, is going to be what's down here. The most, the more interesting items. I personally have grabbed the Mystic Coins, Mystic Clover, Bag of Laurels, Legendary Weapon Starter Kit, and Heavy Crafting Bags and Bags of Coins. I haven't been able to play quite as much this season as I have in previous, so I'm a little bit low on my Astral Acclaim. I'll probably grab the Ascended Armor and Weapon Chests before the end of this season and try to save up the rest of it. I'm going to guess that most of this will stay the same. I'm hoping that they change a couple of them or they add a couple things. I mean, this is a great source of Black Lion Salvage kits. It's a great way to get items from the trading post, such as build template expansions or upgrade extractors or technically even Black Lion Mastery Coffers. This is nice. These, are, these often come from like Black Lion chests. Transmutation charges, revive orbs are not necessarily readily accessible most of the time and then of course the build storage expansion up here these are currently bought with gems so if i go to my uh, my build storage here if i want to get another template it's going to be 300 gems if i want to get another build storage here it's going to be 500 gems so them adding those i think was really good maybe we'll see them shift maybe they'll swap these out with something else put them on a rotation similar to what we see up here but the thing that I'm hoping that they keep the most or kind of expand on maybe is going to be the legendary weapon starter kits. I think this is the the item that most people are excited about. I'll toss a picture of what was in these sets up real quick because I know there's a lot. Of, I'm going to say a lot of things and it's going to be kind of hard to keep track of everything. But set one had Bolt, Meteorologicus, Bifrost, and Quip. Two had Bolt, Moot, Predator, and Quip. 
three had Predator, Moot, Dreamer, and Frostfang, and set four, which is what we have right now, is Dreamer, Frostfang, Juggernaut, and Incinerator. This is a great opportunity for people to have faster access to legendaries, or at least get some help towards them. They do have a pattern of, of course, the first four seemed random. They reused two of the first four and brought in two new ones. Then for set three, they brought back two that they had used previously and then two new ones. And then in set four, we had, uh, again, two recycled and then two new ones. It'll be interesting to see if they keep this item in when we get to the next expansion and when we uh, see if they keep going with the same pattern. Really, there's not much left to speculate on. I think it'll be really cool if, for example, if we go back to the Legacy, with the expansion drop, we had a mount skin and then we had an emote tome we had a chair and a glider and infusion and then another mount skin i think it would be really cool if they did like a skiff skin or maybe a jade bot skin uh, i know those are specific to end of dragon so I'm, maybe they'll steer away from those but then again owl or the griffin is very specific to path of fire and we don't really do much with skimmers outside of path of fire as well so I think it's going to be really cool to see what they what direction they go. If you guys have any thoughts or any hopes, let me know down below in the comments. I think that's going to wrap it up for today. I know there wasn't a lot to discuss. Just wanted to give everybody a brief reminder and a brief history of they do have a pattern. They do have a pattern of what they have done. You have the two items, weapons, armor skins, one weapons, armor skins, etc., and it'll be curious to see if they continue that or if they give us something new. I think with the expansion, it's, it's a really good time for them to uh, break into something new. But I'd love to hear what you guys think. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to support the channel. It means a lot to me. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one.